Joining us now to break down the drama on the Hill and give us insight into what his former co-workers must be thinking, with a smile, of course, we have former New York Congressman George Santos. George, welcome to Fine Point. Oh, Chanel, thank you so much for having me. Uh, what, what a moment we're living in our American politics. And right now, receiving all of our foreign allies from NATO here just to witness it up close. What an embarrassment nationally and internationally this is becoming. And that seemed to be the one lifeboat that Joe Biden held on to in his ABC interview with George Stephanopoulos. He said, watch me in NATO. Watch me with NATO. What will NATO do without the Biden presidency? Look, here's, here's a reality. Um, we've been watching Mr. President, and it's not getting any better. Uh, and it's it's also very sad to see that my former colleagues on the other side of the aisle in D.C. seem to initially rally around, okay, I think we need to do the right thing here for the American people, for what is right for America in general, uh, for national security and foreign policy, which is replace Joe Biden. And President Biden should step aside. And fortunately, uh, now we're seeing some backtracking. I mean, Jerry Nadler here from New York just yesterday called for, for the president to be replaced and step aside. And then probably somebody knocked on his door with some kind of, you know, uh, big old opposition book and said, Jerry, you sure about that position? And today he's endorsing President Biden. So you're going to see a lot of fluctuation in Washington, D.C., on the Dem side specifically on what Biden's future looks like. But at the end of the day, Chanel, we're all losing. It's chaos, and they talk about the Republicans being the chaos caucus. I'm sorry, the Democrats are in, in, in real time for every single American to see the chaos party right now. George, you're, uh, you're so well connected in D.C. Even to this day, you're still talking to people up there. What are you actually hearing from the inevitable spillage out of these offices, out of these staffers, they're surely talking amongst each other. So it's funny, I get text messages from Dem staffers, I get text messages from Republican staffers, I talk to members of both sides of the aisle still. You know, I keep a good relationship with folks. I think at the end of the day, if this is politics, it's not personal. So um, I was texting back and forth with uh, a, a Democrat representative from Florida just about a week ago. And I said, look, uh, this isn't looking good. You're, you guys are caving in and, and a lot of you guys are about to like go ahead and, and send a letter saying you're not supporting. He told me, no, that's not true. No such letter exists. I pushed back and saying, well, I have Dem staffers telling me out of certain Dem offices that it does exist. And he pushed back on me again. And then when all of these Democrats came out, I said, hey, how about that? How about that apology? And all, all he did was go like, oh, George, this is so chaotic right now. So just think about the way that this is interactions with the Democrat. Now, I talked to my Republican colleagues and they're in glee because they don't need to do anything. Right now, Republicans, my advice is stop kicking each other out of caucuses, stop fighting amongst each other, because right now Joe Biden has every single bit of airtime and everything you do to detract from that, the mainstream media, MSNBC, CNN, will take that opportunity to take the spotlight off the president. So Republicans, lay low, let them implode all on their own. That's what I keep telling them. And I really hope that they can focus on that right now. Well, George, you've taken to, uh, speaking of maintaining contact with the Hill, you've taken to sp spilling the tea, as the kids say it these days. Here's one of your tea sessions you shared earlier. Let me tell you something. The foundations of Capitol Hill are built on closeted homos. Being in Washington as a mere observer, George, I saw this and I thought, wow, this explains a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I might have been the first openly gay Republican member of Congress ever elected by a Republican in, in a constituency. I'm not the first ever gay man to serve in the House that is a Republican, and I assure you, there are still a few serving currently. But <laughs> I'm not in the business of pulling anybody out of the closet. But the reality is, is the charade, the sheer audacity that some of these people have of, you know, clinging to the, this high moral ground. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. 
OAN OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.